record on this computer. All right, everyone. So we're here with two dollar Will. Two dollar. That's the rapper name, right? That's that's me. That's you. I'm Josh, and you've made some diss tracks about me. So let's let's get into it. I made a couple diss. Tracks. I haven't responded, by the way, for the record. I have not responded. This is the first Classic. thing. This is our first interaction point besides Instagram DMs. Yeah. Why Why couldn't you respond, man? Could you not? Your bars weren't ready. You know what's you funny? Like I've never. You're not the first person. First of all, that's made a diss track. The other ones were meaner. So yours were yours is just making fun of my name, as far as I can tell from what Mine I've heard. Mine were the best ones, is the thing. Mine were the best. <laughs> I, I never heard their songs, but I guarantee you. Um, I had nothing mean to say, man. I just didn't like a few things that I saw. Yeah, yeah, you, you didn't like. What didn't you like about my presence on Twitter? Uh. Man, your engagement tweets, they're just lame as fuck, man. And I hate everyone who does them. It's not just you, all of, all of you engagement people. I fucking hate you with every bit of my entire essence. You're so different right now than from two minutes ago before we started recording. You were so nice, and now you just hate engagement tweets. No, I always hated that. Why? Why do you think I dissed you? Yeah, it's true. Um, okay, so what if I have this to say about it? The engagement tweeting is what got popular, but what I started making money on off of Twitter was my guitar loops before engagement tweets were ever like a thing. So how do you feel about that? Well, it sounds like uh, you had something good going and you just decided to become one of Musk's little fucking hand puppets. And now I have that to, this to say to that. I've been asking questions on the internet since 2010 on Facebook and my cousins were like, bro, just make a Twitter. So I made a Twitter and I didn't start getting engagement on those tweets until two years ago or three years ago. You I've been on Twitter since 2011. Type guy. No, I think, I guess I appreciate uh, Facebook's just fucked, man. And that's for like. All I'm saying is I've been doing this for a long time before it was ever trending or popular on Twitter to ask questions. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. But, <laughs> uh, you know, I've got a lot of questions now. in my head, I guess, right? Yeah, a lot of uh, you just want to know what people want from the store. A lot of the time is my selfies. Yeah, it's fair. Yeah, and I'm like, bro, bro, you, you gotta, you have to quit that Th that particular one. If there's anything you take away from this, quit asking people what they want from the store. Okay, what should I do instead? um literally anything post like songs i don't know post the other stuff. side to the story is i post a lot of music related content but it doesn't get pushed as much as the engagement tweets because that gets just more comments well man whose fault is that i used to only post music stuff and no engagement tweets and i got less interaction than i do on my music stuff now after the engagement tweets <laughs> I did my research actually, man, on your YouTube, and like six years ago, you had some hard beats, and then you decided to go off in a whole new direction. There was one beat I almost stole oh, when I started it. learning how to make trap beats with cymatic stuff, yeah, I almost stole it. I'm not gonna lie, but then uh, I you've only stolen my cover art, so I can't be that. Yeah. <laughs> well, your cover art—that's what I need to ask you, actually, man. That's what. That was one of the top things about you that just pisses me off. Is your name Josh or Jamie? What the fuck? How is your artist named Josh and your album Sad Boy Jamie? Pick Jay, Josh is me. Sad Boy Jamie. <laughs> Fucking man. I'm trying to be nice, man. I'm trying to keep things civil, but that just hurt my feelings. Like, Why do your feelings get hurt so easily? Because, <laughs> man, certain shit, I just see it and I think, bro... If if I we're gonna get, continue just, this interview, endorse you, you have to uh you have to is it a laptop you're using? Hell yeah. So move your laptop back a little more so we can see the top of your head. Right now we don't have the top of your head. Not back, but like angle it. Angle it. Yeah. Like there. I'm trying to get the I'm trying to get the full two dollar will in the shot. Yeah, I'll be like this. Check this out. Godzilla. Nice. What's your favorite Godzilla movie? That, is that Both? Totoro? No, that's Godzilla. It looks like a mix. He's destroying. He's destroying the whole city. My favorite anime is. I want to know you're in the Godzilla series. What your favorite movie is, though? 
favorite anime oh um i don't know i like king Ghidorah. um okay the three-headed monster but that's because of doom that's doom inspired that you listen to doom i can't even believe that i thought you only listened to drake There's just so many things that the internet doesn't know about me, I guess. I have a Doom mask in here. I've posted it before multiple times. Well, I haven't really been studying you, man. I literally You just I've, said I've... you did study me. You can't go. No, I did my research. Not study. But YouTube is different than Twitter, man. I'm what do you think about you gotta have something to say about the fact that I have six thousand subscribers on there and no views? Come on. There's gotta be something. Yeah. It's fucking you got... hilarious. You got... That's how I knew. That's how I knew you would have to do an interview. Because so, do YouTube, you know you why I have views. six thousand subscribers on YouTube? I can tell you right now. I can give you. The you post. used to post beats, and now you just post random shit. My friend was a big YouTuber, getting like two hundred thousand views a day in uh Spanish blogging content. We used to work together at Chili's. We used to hang out once or twice a week on our days off and make content. And I would play guitar and draw in his videos and he would shout me out. And I got almost 10,000 subs in a month because of him. And then he stopped posting. So all of my subs stopped watching because we stopped making content together. Damn, I There's a reason for everything, but the internet can easily just be like, bro, you bought that, bro. That's you paid for that. That's fake. You don't get real. It's like, bro, like, no, I don't, I didn't think you paid for it because because you youtube subs are expensive bro well you'd have to be a lot dumber than i even consider you to pay for. oh so you thought i was smart no i wouldn't say that <laughs> bro no offense but no one who is posting about their fucking mcdonald's nugget happy meals every day is that bright and i don't take that the wrong way i buy terrible shit too but come on my boys right here my guys yeah i feel you um so i'm like okay well i mean i got this ninja but i got that when i was a kid Angry. where are you is that are you uh do you, is that the basement yeah i had to go down here because it felt like the right area it felt like a place where i could like this is like where you put hostages the dungeon bros in the dungeon yeah. all right so tell us about your music bro what, what what's up how long you been doing this i don't know anything you just came on twitter and made the diss tracks i don't know anything about you Besides the yeah. fact that I wanted to talk about this on the internet. Yeah, well, I wanted to I wanted to see if you'd interview me. I had to test out if you were a real person or not. And it seems like so far I'm starting to I'm starting yeah. to have more faith that you're not I thought you were like the prototype Groff first. You talk that's a Dragon Ball Z reference. No, the Elon Grok of Twitter. Oh Grok. I thought you said Brock. Oh, I thought isn't that from Pokemon? Brock is the is well. There's there's Brawly in uh Dragon Ball Z. I don't know. Um, I don't. I, I don't know these shows that good. I watched like mostly uh, that well, bro. That well, it's not good. Bro, this is Butte, man. We don't talk, right? No, Grok. Oh yeah. So what about Grok? I started. I, I thought you were the it. prototype Grok. I thought you worked with Elon Musk because he's against me. If you didn't know that, he, he lives about thirty miles north of me, somewhere here in the Bay. So. Are you friends with him? Because I thought you were part of his... There's like a whole coalition founded by him against me. Because why? Because you say outlandish things on Twitter or what? Kind of. And I, he got me banned uh, from Twitter. I used to have way more followers. What, what happened? 100. Well, okay. Let's so, hear your side and then next week I'll get Elon on and we can get his side. If you can get him on... That'd I'm be great, right? Back, you're part of his fucking coalition i kind of you know they're trying to stop me man him and you know hip-hop by the numbers that account oh yeah i've seen that more of a bot than you even are so big bot vibes yeah oh for sure so i like copied his whole account and they got me banned and i get you're not supposed to do that but here's why i think that they were fucked up you dude. copied his whole account well, check this out. Check. Oh, this like out. same okay. profile picture, same username, almost like the whole thing. Yeah. Well, not my whole like at thing, but my changeable name. I changed the hip hop by the number. Yeah, 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 yeah. I and got I was you. Posting about my shit, like it, like how he posts about stuff. And you were getting all kinds of views and interaction. Yeah, and then they banned me. But here's why they're fucked up. They impersonate it's people on the internet, no, bro. But check it out. They let me pretend to be Anthony Fantano mm -hmm. for like four months straight didn't do anything and he's way more noteworthy of a person than hip-hop by the numbers hip-hop by the numbers i will fight hip-hop by the numbers 
I don't know why you got caught up for that. Maybe they noticed the first time, didn't say anything, and then the second time they're like, "You're out." Could you call him? I don't know. Yeah, let me let me get. Yeah, let's uh phone phone a friend right now. I thought you were maybe friends or related to him. Right? Like, are you legit? Like, you legit thought I know Elon Musk? You can't actually think that in your head. That's not true. You can't ask me questions like this. You just have to take what I say. And you got to either. I can't it ask you questions like this. It's an interview. Ask me. Like that one is. That's, I do. Because look, man, you're like heavily a Twitter person. He owns the whole Twitter. So it's like. It's new guys, though, bro. I've been on. He owned. He started buying it out like a year and a half, two years ago. I was on the platform like a year or so before that. Yeah, but you're probably the guy. You probably told him he should start getting on there and posting his shitty memes. He's even worse than YouTube, man. You know what's the problem? He's funny. That's the problem with Elon is he's funny. Hmm. I mean, he's funny. Witty. Like, he jumps in there. He will fight people on Twitter sometimes, which is crazy. I on think, his own man, platform, bro, he can just block anybody. I think, though, he's lame for that. because He's not easily offended. I will give him that because he's not blocking people left and right for and, fighting. And I dropped a diss song against him, and he never responded. Or Darn it. Used- Imagine. Well, he's a pussy for that. He has no rap skills whatsoever. He's not a rapper. I don't. Well, so it's like, why should I take him seriously then? If he's going to be causing issues with me, so I should feel good then. I should feel good that you at least made this against me because you at least consider me somebody who's at least a rapper at the very least. Well, don't you rap? I mean, I I heard your song, Mm -hmm. but like. I heard like three or four of them, maybe five. I don't know. That's I didn't really. I didn't more than my that. girlfriend listens to. And I don't even have one of those. So. But, but no, I'm not getting into that. I won't. I'll leave that alone. Uh, <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. You're nice. Some of these guys, bro, they've come for. They've said not... stuff. They've sent music to my ex-wife, bro. Like my songs to her in the Instagram DMs. Like insane. I'm just. I'm just an honorable, uh, an honorable troll. troll. Yeah, I I don't know who these ex wives are. Why would I? You do you do, you do look like a troll. If I'm being honest, like the embodiment of a troll. Like this is what I think. You're just the red headed version of me with the the beanie and the glasses. I I see. I the... Don't ever say that I'm any version of you. That's fucked up. Our I facial have... hair is similar. The only thing you don't have is this. Yeah. Well, I do. It's just red, so you can't see it. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, it's a little, it's a little light, it's a little light. But uh, oh man, another thing. So, Jerry, George, Elaine, or Kramer, who do you prefer? You're interviewing me now. Um, immediate identification. Um, I don't know, man. I have kind of tendencies of of like all of them, but. The first thing that comes to mind when he said it was George, but yeah, because I'm more of a Kramer when it comes to being at friends' houses. That's for sure. <laughs> Once I'm comfortable and I'm invited, Josh, bro. If Josh Crespo ever walked into my house, uh, where do you live? Invited, Butte. Huh? Butte. Butte. Montana. Okay. Well, how is no more Butte? It sounds like butane, bro. This is beautiful. How are you not supposed to know? You should be. You didn't do your research, apparently. It's Josh talks. It's a conversation. Well, it is now. Uh, <laughs> it is now. <laughs> I haven't checked. I, I haven't checked the other ones, man. I couldn't. Uh, Maybe I'll make this a thing where anyone who trolls me, I really try to interview them because most people are cool. Like once you talk to them, it's just the internet stuff. Got well, it. I'm not going to be an asshole, man. Unless you give me a reason to, I'm just. Uh, like I said, I think like you said, you don't hate me as a person. You're just like, what is this? I just hate you as an account. <laughs> Good thing I'm a person. <laughs> You're both. I can I can have mixed feelings. The reviews were mixed, man. It was like uh, it was like Batman versus Superman. They had mixed reviews. I thought it sucked though. Fuck Zack Snyder. Zack Snyder is probably with Elon Musk. The Justice me. League. Yeah, dude, he's never made a good movie in his life. I don't even like three hundred. I just, I, this is just hot takes left and right. 
It's just the truth, man. You like that movie? It's all green. The whole movie is green. Here's the problem with the internet. This isn't the truth. This is what you think is true. And it's a perspective and it's subjective. No, man. It's like Fallout 3. Do you like Fallout 3? That game sucks, man. It's all green. Fallout New Vegas is like the good version. No, see, that is the opposite of what the internet says. They say New Vegas is trash and Fallout 3 is the original great Fallout game. Oh, no, you're actually smoking crystal. Everybody, when New Vegas came out, they're like, bro, it's so glitchy. Do not play it. They're all glitchy. Same thing with Cyberpunk. They're all glitchy. I don't know. What do you play right now? I play Spyro the Dragon on PlayStation 1. Actually, you're not kidding. Yeah, I tried to play the remaster, but it just wasn't. It wasn't the same. Smoke a lot of weed? Yeah. It's fair. Yeah, you didn't hear a single song? I got like old, songs. bro. I heard thirty or forty-five seconds of the original diss track, and if there's a second one, maybe a little more. Yeah, there was three now because I did an extra one just to get you to interview me. I was gonna interview you regardless. You didn't have to do that. Yeah, but I wanted it to look like it. Right, this for the clout. We're doing this for the clout, bro. Hundred percent. Oh God, you should man. I could tell you crazier shit. I could tell you the most insane shit you heard in your entire life if you just. Asked. You know who's gonna love this? Land Party and Beat Loaf are gonna love this because you they were what? they were oh, both making diss tracks about me. Beat Loaf was making the beats and Land Party was making the diss tracks, and he came and he was like, "Bro, my bad. Let's bury the hatchet." I need to get them on this too. I don't know who that is, but um, they were the ones in the comments saying that I should respond to you and make a track. Oh, shout that? out to them. Shout out to them. I almost dissed one of the other people too. I'm not gonna lie. You can't come for the people who are supporting you, bro. That's backwards. <laughs> No, man. I can't just, just come for it. Are you kidding me? Check out my latest album. Uh, I sold crystal meth to Taylor Swift. I know. Lord who. You remind me of 2011 Tyler the Creator, bro. That's what this reminds me of. Like the marketing tactics. I don't know. I I feel like I'm inspired by... I want to be like Kurt Russell in a, a Escape from New York with the eye pack. Like, That's like basically feel like you're living in a simulation, bro. No, that's what you don't understand. Is all everyone else is, and I've just right. I've transcended beyond. That's why I don't I don't do engagement tweets. I just post my songs and I diss people like you to get engagement. Um, yeah, yeah, but it's more respectable. It's through it's through music. You see what I'm saying? No Go to my media tab, brother. There's so much music. <laughs> Bro, I shouldn't have to go looking for it, Josh. Josh. It's also on the timeline. I can't control what the algorithm feeds you. Josh. Josh. Be a real... Josh. 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 Um, okay, favorite artist. My favorite Bobby artist. Brown. Ever lived. Or right now. Or both. Biggest inspiration. Sean Price. You know Sean Price? I thought you were going to say what Mac the fuck? What? I thought you were going to say Mac Miller. No, shout out to him, though. But no, my biggest is Sean Here, There's only Price. one reason you're saying that. What? You would... My biggest inspiration? I've literally listened to, like, 90s rap for my whole life before I started listening to all rap. So it, it's literally, like, Sean Price and Redman, Big L. And then, um, you know who introduced me to Red Man is Limp Biscuit, and Method Man. Method Man, see, he's great too, but Red Man's funnier. It's all, it's all Wu Tang, bro. No, Red Man's not in Wu Tang, but Wu Tang is lit. I mean, if we were to go greatest artist, that they're the greatest artist to ever live, dude. Fucking really? Oh yeah. It's Over DMX. <laughs> Not You're breaking up a little bit. If this persists, we will have to end the interview early. I th- oh man, you're doing that on purpose. I said there's nine. It's like people. it's like when you're on the phone or something. You're like uh, 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 I can't. Uh. And then you hang up. And if you go with like the best albums ever, Wu Tang man, fucking better than any genre. I don't care. Name anyone. Wu Tang. You could bring your grandma. She can try to tell me the Beatles. I'll say no, bitch. Wu Tang. 
No offense to your grandma, personally. Oh, okay. You're talking about grandmas in general. <laughs> yeah, or grandpas. Because I was about to be like, ah, that's a little touchy. Oh no, I don't. I don't know your grandma. <laughs> and honestly, don't bring her because she has I'm dementia. Bro. Not she that has close dementia. to you. What? She has dementia. I take care of her. That's what I was gonna say. Like, oh. well, that's hey, great yeah. of you. I was just gonna say it's a long plane flight just to have her argue with me about Wu Tang. Run it. I mean, if you want to, mom. You can. You can pay the plane ticket, and Grandma will argue with you about Wu Tang. That's a crazy scenario. Um. Okay. So Wu Tang, greatest group of all time. Yeah, because that's the best group, best rapper though. Now I have to ask. Red man. I have to ask. How do we feel about the general goat for most people who don't know rap and hip hop? Which is. Are you going to try to say Eminem? You got it. You got the reference. Fuck Eminem. Ooh. He made two good albums, and then he just quit making good raps after that. You don't like Curtain Call? Curtain Call ain't an album, bro. It's the greatest hits. I know. You don't like the you Eminem? Like... No, I don't. There's Eminem no way you're saying Marshall Mathers EP and Slim Shady OP are his best and only okay, they're his best works, but and they're relapse not really good works. actually pretty good. I like relapse. See, you say normal things and then you say that, and I'm like, how? What do you mean? Listen to the raps, listen to the beats for one. You're saying relapse is better than the Eminem show. Yes, relapse is a million that's times insane. better than the Eminem. That is smoking crystal. That's the hottest take I've heard all day. Bro, I'm not. If there's one whack thing in this world, it's rappers who are famous making entire albums just bitching about how they don't like being famous. I don't care, bro. You wanted to be a rapper. This is what you signed up for, Eminem, Drake, who the fuck ever. Fuck Eminem show. And for you, right? And me. I mean, we do enjoy. Yeah. I mean, if I look, if I became the biggest rapper ever you would not hear me make is that the goal complaining about how i'm the biggest rapper ever two dollar man let's just see what happens that's is, is that the goal gotta... what's the goal of your music no oh, what do you mean oh like, you have the biggest rapper ever? ever the biggest rapper ever i mean if that's possible definitely the biggest rapper from fucking butte biggest rapper fucking... trying to put butte on oh man i already trying to put morgan I'm the king of Butte for one. There's there's only a couple others and they're all they're all greats, but they're just my friends. And they're great. Uh, is there nobody big like huge from Butte yet? Evil can evil. But no like rappers or artists or musicians. No, just him. And uh fuck, I think someone else. Oh, there's you, like you can do it, you can do it. There's what? Uh someone there's this other guy, something Montana, and he like French? Fuck no. What oh. do you think he's from Butte? Are, are you smoking? Oh bro, you Montana rappers, French Montana. Come on. No, he's not a rapper either. He's like a country guy, but I think he's friends with Kid Rock, so he's a piece of shit, probably. See, we were so close to agreeing on something. What? He said I you think like he's Kid friends with Kid Rock, and I was like, Yeah, and then you're all but he's a and I'm like Kid oh. Rock's a fucking do you just uh, not like everything just to not like it? Like, what's the deal here? No, I just don't. Who know didn't hug that. you as a child? What? What? No, you like Kid Rock in real life, bro. It's Kid not like whether him. or not I like him as a person. It the music is catchy, and I can see the appeal. Oh, I can see the appeal, but it appeals to goddamn <laughs> inbreds. <laughs> like, come on, brother! You look like a Kid Rock fan. Because I'm white? Are you smart? No. The whole setup that I'm seeing here is oh, like, yeah, I had to bring you, you down Kid Rock, man. I could see that. I would literally, to be honest. Don't say it. If I, I saw Kid Rock, I would tell him he's the worst human being to ever walk the face of the earth. Kid Rock disgusts me to a, he, he makes me sick to my stomach, man. Kid Rock is a fucking disgrace. He's a goddamn, what, like, look, he's a, he looks like a goddamn confederate. Why don't you go to Kanye's compound, bro? It's in Montana. It actually, well, I'll tell you, I have a few rebuttals to that. One, it's in Wyoming. Two, he actually sold it. Three, I actually, I was a trucker for a while, and I drove past it literally every night for a minute. Really? 
Dead serious. You didn't want to pull up and see if you could give me a mixtape? No, dude. It's like a very short, you know, with like the hours of service and shit. Man, it's a very Oh, yeah. With the party. trucks, they're very, it's super strict. You know, the, and they're, they don't care. Your bonuses, if you do it well, you get good bonuses. Oh, yeah. No, it was cool, but, um, no. I I actually I didn't know that it was the place until I saw that he sold it and I saw the name of like the ranch was like fuck it was something road I don't know it was a road I passed every day though. Mm, so that's like, crazy. Like, yeah, so Wyoming and Montana are close then. He yeah, oh yeah. Are you kidding me? Any place with buffalo is close to each other. All the buffaloes herd together. Yeah, it's where the buffalo roam, man. Come up here, you ride a buffalo. I'd like to see Josh Crespo. That's your new album cover, man. Forget whatever you're doing. Ride a buffalo. Put a cowboy hat on. I need country Crespo. Crespin? Such a big day. The last thing you called me before we got on was Crespin. Crespin. <laughs> you know how many yeah. times, bro, my last name has, yeah, so many nicknames for my last name. because No, so that's because there is a there is a real Crespin, man, and he works with Elon Musk and J4 references bro i never would have gotten that okay crispin no you wouldn't know he's he's a very <laughs> he's bros a... it bros on the deep web with it no he's just the manager of this other rap group i dissed crispin is yeah but crispin knows elon they are all work together bro or is this real or is this what you think this is the truth so there's like articles and pictures and stuff of Crespin and Elon together. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'm 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 one letter and one extra letter away from being next to Elon. Bro, I think you're friends with him in real life. You IRL. Well, because otherwise, if you think about it, real life people. You're all there's no way you get this kind of engagement without being friends with Elon. <laughs> no, think about it. That, but it's not because it's because what do you do? You just ask people what they want and target and real life person. As a real human, would you see someone post that and want to respond to it? No, be honest with me. It's not about that. It's part of my character as a person, actually. For example, went to Starbucks earlier, called my sisters and asked if they wanted anything from Starbucks. Tweet. Yeah, but see what's the difference here i'm asking the internet instead of my family you're asking someone that you can actually get a drink for instead of someone who it, you can't get a drink for. it's it's a joke bro you gotta and people like participating and feel part of that joke because they know they're not getting anything some people ask for cars some people ask for guitars some people ask for shoes it's crazy they know what they're doing. They're participating in this thing that I'm doing that's not real. Up, bro. It's, 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 it's entertainment, entertainment for it's them. It's they're enjoying it. It's not entertaining. That's not like, to you, but that just means that you're not my audience for that tweet. That's the best thing about Crespo. Twitter. Crespo. There are Crespo. so many things you could Crespo. tweet about to Crespo. find different Crespo. audience. Crespo. Crespin. Crespin, bro. Crespin, bro. Oh, now we're gonna have a rap battle off. I will rap battle you. I've won battles. I'll freestyle. I did. I'll... Somebody, my dad advised me. He goes, have him rap. Me rap specifically. Your dad wanted me to rap because I told him I was like, this guy made diss tracks about me, and he, we're gonna do the podcast, and he goes, have him rap on it. I mean, I can always rap, but. The floor is yours, my brother. <laughs> no beat or nothing? The floor is yours, my brother. Oh, man. All right. Let's 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 think of a rap. Let's think of which one I'm going with. I know a lot of raps. You know that? I believe uh, it. Racked in that mind. Do little Butte shows. Do fucking Bozeman shows. You seem like a Bozeman type person. Who? Bozeman, Montana. Oh, bro. One of the citizens. One of the citizens. One of the. He's getting into his rap voice. Let's hear it. Oh man. Play Josh a beat. Crespo. Crespo beat. Josh Crespo. 
Oh, you, you want me to? I mean, I could wrap my newest Crespo shit, but I don't want to do that. Cause that's, I haven't uh, even heard it. I don't even know what you say. You should check it out. I probably just say. Uh, Drop your best verse right now. Your best rip best that's stuck in your head. Right now? Let's hear it. Like your favorite rap that you've made. Let's hear your favorite. Oh, man. Memorize one? Um, Let's see. Let's see. Oh, okay. Okay. I got it. I got a good one. Check. Check this out. Check this out. Your mother likes to argue and fight in public. Our crew's the nicest ever discovered. Blicky boys. We like to fuck. I don't know how it goes without no beat, bro. It's uh, I don't know how it goes without no beat. Is my here's problem. your tempo rap to you nodding you're absolutely fucked all right i'm gonna i'm doing a different verse though i'm doing a whole different verse check this out i heard the butte cops are satan cult members and worshipers and perverted nerds and jerks and they don't even tip their favorite bud tenders fuck them and every fucking member they've ever given a badge and a gun ever even if they hired him then decided to fire him within one second of his application getting accepted duck i heard they sacrificed stolen orphanage babies and kidnapped children that get sold to the navy and inject gophers and polar bears with rabies and let them loose in the city to torment the old ladies catch me on the leg at fire escape grilling and searing the shrub smuggled in your mother's cunt call it a period blunt could get your eyes peeled up and dunked in pickle juice by an addicted goot dude for like three bucks. Your sister's boobs might be D cups, looking like Sidra's the hugest I've seen in months. Man, the bitch is cute, but the little hoe is literally so silver bow. She yells, This is Butte every time she freaking comes. It's William. Got the Frankenstein skin stitches. Y'all playing vinyls by Limp Biscuit. Cranky guy off the crank fire in the big blicky. I told him I'd only pay him right if he gets you quickly. No place to hide. This ain't the big city. He'll do it for a ciggy. Then there's supposed to be the Halo guy saying, go back to Bozeman. I can't hear you at all, though, now. Uh, I didn't say anything. Oh, okay. I was just I listening. Yeah, that's that's a new one off the new uh that's from the new album little preview. You know what it reminds me of? What? You're gonna say something that makes it seem like you've heard two rappers in your entire life? Eminem. You did. You know, I've never even seen the movie Eight Mile. Crazy. You can rap though. I can't say you can't rap. No one can. That line mean. was crazy. Why would she shout out a city? You're you're crunching out. I can't. I couldn't understand you. But which line? Why would she shout out a city? Shout out my city. Yeah. Why would she shout out Butte? Why wouldn't I shout out Butte? No, the girl in that scenario. Oh, <laughs> why wouldn't she? Because this is Butte, bro. Why you put? You could have easily inserted yourself into that line instead of Butte. No, because she's that Butte of a person. She's so silver bow. Count. Oh, it's a double entendre. The little hoe is literally so silver bow. Got you. She yells, this is Butte. And see, this is Butte rhymes with the bitch is cute. My my name don't rhyme with that. So it's like a lot Also, of one letter apart, which is kind of cool. Yeah, I just do a lot of different little cute, cute. rhymes. Yeah, no, it's good. And... All right. High five. Oh, bro, I'll... Yeah. This bump this all day. the lamest thing I've done in my entire life, but Crespo... For Crespo all day, bro. No problem. You sound like bro. a lot now, to be honest. But I'm at least you know I'm real. Now. No, your shit's sounding like it's like. Oh my god! Take the headphones the off, guy from Star Wars. Except if you take, take the headphones off, any of this shit. you're like. Gah. Take the headphones That's how you off. Sound. You're like. Hello. Take off the headphones and just go out of your laptop audio. Like, I don't know what you said in any of the sentences. Take off the headphones. My headphones? Unplug. Unplug the headphones. Oh, man, let's see. Hello. Oh, Can you hear me? How do I change that? How do I change it? Can you hear me? Hey, man. Can you hear me? Prespa? Yeah. Can you hear me? How's that? Yeah. Can you hear me? 
Oh, I can now. This is the new. This, this is, is this is much better, and it's louder on my end. The audio just got louder. Yeah. See, I thought it was coming out of that mic, and it was. I bet. You're probably right. I was probably wrong. I know what's happening, man. I've used Zoom a I couple can't times. Admit when I'm wrong, I can't, and I won't. But I've never needed to. How old are you? I'm 25. Are you? 33. You had to think about it. You don't even know. No, it lagged and I was giving it a second to catch up. Hmm. Um, okay. So you're coming for a 33-year-old rapper on Twitter. Understood. I understand the assignment. We'll see. Song might come from this. You're gonna diss me back. Well now you now you can't. Now we're like cool with each other. It'll just look lame. Are we are we cool? Uh 22 has a lot of people who hate him on his podcast, all right? Maybe I hate you. You can hate me. A lot of people hate me. Musk hates me. God, bro, you gotta stop obsessing over <laughs> Musk. Bro, he's a piece of shit. He <laughs> does not know you exist, brother. You're lying to yourself, man. You think that he is it? He was a fan. He was a fan, and then he got offended because. Has he ever liked? A I didn't. I didn't update. Has he ever Twitter interacted app. with you on Twitter? Do you think that's really him using his own Twitter? You think he has a burner? No. Check this out. What do you uh, know? No, you don't have a burner. He's got an assistant who runs his what Twitter. What I'm saying is, is has his he's account president. ever interacted with you? He got me blocked. That, that doesn't I mean know. he did it, bro. He's got moderators watching that site 24-7. Yeah, running his own account, blocking me. He's a piece of shit. They're not doing it from Elon's account, bro. They have shadow accounts that see everything that we can't see. They're in the back doors. You mean like at Josh Crespo? Yeah, I'm one of them, bro. I'm starting to think now. No, pay twenty two dollars a month to be one of them. Yeah, man. <laughs> Musk was on Crepstein Island. We start rapping, bro. We're not talking about Musk anymore. <laughs> well, we could talk about. We could talk about whatever you want. We could talk about my new. When you started rapping. When I started rapping. Oh. Why? I love knowing that. Oh, cause. I like I just love rap. I just like rap a lot, you know. You just listen to you just love rap enough and you think, man, I can rap good. Well, God, that's a second time. <laughs> you are for beauty. You're making yourself seem crazy by fucking correcting me more than I seem crazy by saying I rap good. I don't know. My my visual is clear, so I think people like me more by default. <laughs> Absolutely not. I made my. Absolutely mine. not. How could they, man? <laughs> Look, here's this the problem. Good. This is how friendships are born. The, the here's the problem with you, Chris, as well, is instead of Josh, you're Josh, and that pisses me off. Josh. That's why they like me, Josh. Well, Josh is what Glidan well, called you. I'm Josh. Did you see that? Glidan said Josh. How many people ask me if that's how I spell my name? Is it fake? Is it fake? If it's fake, I might be more mad than if it's real. Be more mad, bro. It's fake. It's fake. You... It's phonetic. No. Like, is your <laughs> on the birth no, certificate? You go. No. Birth certificate. Does it say J A W S H? Does it say have you ever met a Josh spelled that way, bro? That's what that that's what makes it fake. You made it up. It's a stage name. How many people made it? It was my Instagram handle, dog, and it became my rapper name. You frozen? No, <laughs> I'm just in you're, awe. You're, of you're taking it in. Here. Yeah, man, I'm just in awe of the what I'm hearing right now, man. You're a delicate genius. Appreciate that. Dang. Got that compliment. It just is. Yeah. So Josh Crespo was my first Instagram. And during quarantine in 2020, it just got deleted one day. I did everything everybody else did. I just hashtag post and shared to my story. 
Um, and so the account that you follow now was my art account, like when I, cause I, I've drawn for like 10 years. Right. And so I had to, I just finally archived everything on that page and all those followers were from back then. And then some Twitter followers now. So Josh Crespo mm -hmm. underscore the underscore is there. Cause I can't get Josh Crespo cause it's still in purgatory three years later. So cause of, cause of Musk, right? Instagram dog. Oh, that's who's Zuckerberg. That? Yeah, they're the same thing, man. They're all they are all here in the Bay Area where I'm currently residing. So yes, you should fucking lock your doors at night. After this interview, currently I'm currently locked. Currently locked. Well, keep it that way. You might want to hire bodyguards or we're locked from the outside and the inside all the time at this house. So Grandma, don't get out. Well, that's a good idea because there's gonna be they're gonna send people to you. Since you're so close, after this interview, I'm basically telling you all their secrets. Oh, yeah, no, we're for sure protected. Don't you worry about Elon Musk getting me. No, he'll, bro, Musk, he do you, will. Sir, do you, will okay, this is the fourth time. Do you suffer from paranoia? I'm just telling you the facts, bro. This is, you sound like my parents, kind of. Your parents, they know more than you do, apparently. They know. Musk, really? look, Musk hates my message because it's about butte okay what does he have against bro we gotta stop coming oh my god i'm just telling you man just like we're... it's it's you just get out here to talk about musk you got out here to talk about me and you <laughs> i'm well what else <laughs> you're all well i i ethered you three times three separate disses first you one ethered? Yeah. Bro, you did not conjure my presence. No, like the Nas song, Ether. You're insane. You don't. Do you know the Nas song, Ether, Jay Z, Beef, all that? I actually do, yeah. Actually. Ether, it's a verb. It's a verb. It's a verb. And it's what it's I did do. M &M. It's a great song. That's all I'm going to say. First song, pretty good diss. Second song, even better diss third song as good as the first disc so you gotta hear it three, i haven't heard it yet man you're missing out you're missing out man i hate to tell you but you should also listen to i sold crystal meth to taylor swift crazy this is crazy this is a great way to end by the way i'm just saying this is a great package you're selling it you're plugging i love it you check it out man it's a good it's a good album me and lord no, me, tell the people you got a platform right now go tell them I'm telling everyone, but I'm telling you because you're who I'm looking in the face of. Everyone is Crespo right now, except me. For sake. All right. Yeah. So listen to I sold tell this camera. Tell this camera. Tell this camera. I'm Joe De La Puma now, bro. Tell them all the other albums. I have five, five Christmas albums. Classic. Christmas. Yeah. Don't you like Christmas? I love Christmas. I didn't think yeah, we, found well, we found common ground. We can end the interview now. Thank God. We love Christmas. Who doesn't, man? I got five. There classes. are a lot of people who do. It's like trendy on the internet to hate on the holidays now. Well, they hate the people hate the songs. But the way I see it, man, you go to the store, they play the same songs all year round. It's not like they update them with the times. It's just the same songs they've been playing since the 80s anyway. So why not have a month of different songs? It's a People bag, like, bro. It's a bag. Yeah, it's like, come on, man. So Christmas, check out the Christmas albums. Check out fucking the Butte print. What are the Christmas albums called? I'm curious now. Oh, man, there's... uh, Well, there's the Blicky Boys Goes to Christmas Past. That's like, uh, that's really old. That's the, like the oldest shit I have out. You have a gun? This is Butte, man. This is Montana. Everyone has guns. Oh, yeah. And you're legally allowed to have it, too. Oh. Uh, now, whether or not it was purchased legally is a different conversation. But why would you, why would you even bring that up, Crespo? Got him. No, I, you didn't. No. But... Why you're narc adjacent? You're gonna do this to someone. You you're gonna do it to someone you shouldn't, man. I'm chilling. Do what? Musk. I... Man. You're friends with Musk, and you're gonna. Oh, bro, stop. Uh, you're, you're do it. 
you're Josh 22 right now, man. You're trying to incriminate people. Wait, is that what Adam 22 does? Oh, yeah. What? Yeah, but they all blow up off it. And nobody really goes to jail, so. Yeah, but he tries his best, man. He's narc adjacent. I think so. Adam 22, yo. The thing Adam... I did when I went to LA four months ago was try to go to the no jumper store, but it was gone. I'll body bag Adam 22. He's a narc. In a figurative sense. I'll play Halo 3 with him. How's that? That make it better? You're all, we're, we're chill on the back end, but on the front end, body. No, fuck, fuck Adam 22. You're making this controversial now. That's that's what I'm here for, man. That's why isn't that why you have me? I'm here to make things controversial. Oh, we're here to squash the beef that didn't exist in the first place. It existed. It existed. It did not exist. I asked you straight up. I go, are you actually mad at me? You're like, bro, I don't even know you. Like, no. No. It's, well, the thing is, it does exist. It's just not with you. You're just, you were the representative for all engagement farmers. It's my beef with an entire way of life. Metal. Style of account. Style of account. Yeah. Yeah. yeah cause it's I'm like, going to follow you after this, just so you know. Yeah, I'll follow you back, man. I never followed you even. <laughs> Did you know that? You just got fed to me by the algorithm. That's just crazy. Yeah, I think it's just because my uh, one of my friends follows you. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Who's that? Uh, JD Masters. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know him too? Yeah, I know him. On Snapchat. Yeah, that guy's a legend. He produced like half half the songs I oh, that's right he uh yeah. he was calling me on snapchat trying to get me um to do a diss track yeah he's very supportive of all parties involved <laughs> i would give him that much he's a legend man no he's cool he's he's been active for years on twitter we followed each other for years he's he's yeah. super uh consistent yeah he produced the butte print elaine bennis for free the butte print it's oh, my for free yeah you finessed no i know this guy in person i'm in his house rapping i was at his house last night rapping he lives by you. okay 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 gotcha gotcha yeah he's, he's so this was like a real life friendship before it became internet oh yeah and then it was your idea to come at me not his oh i i just do whatever i do okay and he's I, just I, cool why not yeah if he goes at someone, I'm I'm in the same, I'm on the same page. I'm fucking. Oh, yeah, he's he's cool. I've seen him for a minute. Um, what else do you want to talk about, bro? Before we wrap this up, I got another one in thirty minutes. All right, I need a little break before the next one, so I can chill with my niece and nephew before I go to L.A. tomorrow because I'm balling. Just kidding. What do I need to tell him? Enjoy the music. Two dollar will is coming out February twenty eighth of twenty. 20- not two dollar ill. Huh. Two dollar ill. Oh, okay. It's because my name's Will. I know your name, still... bro. You know how many times I've heard my dad even caught on this one, William. Oh yeah, you know where I got that? Uh huh. That's just uh, Cameron's ad lib killer. But uh-huh. it's William. That's that's another one of the goats. You try to tell me he's better than eminem anyone try to dispute me cameron is body in eminem in a rap battle you know what's funny is they're all friends are they i don't think eminem has friends <laughs> he's got like his family all of the controversies are calculated like the 50 cent and eminem one i believe that's what uh, it was. they're friends it's calculated but no one else he's got no friends what do you think he's hanging out with people? You think Eminem's kicking it at fucking where? Where is he hanging out? Okay, he's probably a bit of an introvert, but he has friends, bro. Yeah, but they're not. They're 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 twelve members. They're what? T twelve. They're that's his group, bro. That's oh, his friends. It broke up. Yeah, okay, yeah they're T twelve members. Voice to five nine. Joe Budden hates him. Bro, rest in peace to proof. That was so sad. Yeah, he... It re- oh, yeah. He was doper than Eminem, too. I'm not going to even lie to you. If you listen to the albums, he was the dopest one of that whole group. He was fucking crazy. Damn. You don't uh-huh. think... 
gonna argue me? Okay, whatever. If they added Royce, he would have been the dopest though. Royce the five nine. Uh, but fuck Eminem, man. I don't know how we got back on him. You just action Bronson enemies on Twitter, aren't you? Action Bronson's better than Eminem. Got me taking my hat off for this one. You just you're just going left and right. You don't think so? You heard Rash Chandeliers recently? Bro, I can't have this conversation with you. <laughs> I can't do this. Like, I just, I, I don't. Are you? You're just contrary. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not. You are. No, I just tell the facts how I see them. But these uh, are facts. These are opinions on things. There's a difference. Yes, you're giving your opinion on something, which is totally no, I'm telling fine. you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. Eminem would say this. He would it he would agree with everything. Effective, my he brother. He would agree with everything I just said. Who? Eminem. You think Eminem doesn't know that Action Bronson is doper than he is? Like, really? Why would he ever admit that somebody's better than him? He wouldn't admit it, but he knows it. He knows it. He can't rap about, bro. He just raps about hating his own mom. That ain't even cool. Now, when he got sober, things changed in the music for sure. Yeah, and then he became bad at rapping. Not bad. It's different. Not what we're used to. Not what our social ear was used to hearing. No, 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 no. Bad, because he's like he became like a old man version of like you know like token. Yeah, it's he became like that. Like Hobson that. going out is so funny because they're friends. That's not a good way. You're friends with him? No, him and Hobson going at it are so funny because they're friends. Oh man, that's literally the two. That's like the two worst to ever do it. Go to each other, bro. You can't hate on people who have money, bro. Yeah, I can. I can hate on anyone. But like, bro, here's the thing. If they are making really good money at this thing, you should learn how to not be them, but kind of like, aren't they the blueprint if they're making money with this? And like, no, I don't think so, because it's still about like your integrity as a human being. Yeah, but how have they lost their integrity? We can't say that. No, they just never had it to begin with. I mean, Are you Hobson, kidding me? Hobson, Hobson, Hobson has integrity now. Token. Tom <laughs> McDonald, too. But how, bro, like what we're doing right now is what a lot of them do. Yeah, but we're we're doing it better. I mean, that's that's an objective fact. We both I mean, do it better. I mean, I feel like this kind of content is really good. I think it's going to take a minute to catch on to the mainstream. But I think it's real conversations that people do want to watch. And that's why I'm putting it on Twitter, because all of these relationships that I've built for these podcasts were from twitter oh people are gonna love this this is gonna be this one's gonna go crazy i promise I, so. I mean we're gonna for sure share it it's it's gonna be a minute before it's out because i'm doing three interviews today too and i have i gotta get the pain one up on twitter too the full thing so like but it's gonna come yeah. out you can time. take your time crespo just yeah, make sure make two more diss tracks so there's five of them just make sure it comes out before february 28th Please hold. That's in a month. That's more than a month. Four days away. Four days more than a month. Shortest month. I mean, yeah. One. Yeah, that's fine. We can. Do Hell that. yeah. Hell well, yeah. Got your next drop. Yeah, I got an album coming February twenty eighth. Enjoy All? the music. It's called Enjoy the Music. With a K. No, just with a C and with a period. It's all like like just a sentence. For the music. For the music. Period. Yeah. It's got little curb stomp on there three times. Is that your friend? Little curb stomp? He's he's one of the best to ever do it. So who yeah, are I'm friends. this is how we're gonna end this. Who are your boys from Butte that you want to put on? Oh man. Little curb I'm stomp. Shouting out. This is your award show, bro. Little curb stomp, man. Okay. Young Regis, check both of them out. Little Curb Stomp, Curb check Stomp. out the album. Yeah, check out "Selling Rocks to My Stepdad" by Little Curb Stomp. Give me the song names. Just shout out your boys. 
Oh no, they I gotta help people find them now. What what are you talking about? Young Regis, chemically dependent album. Great Y U N G? Yeah, Y U N G Regis. R E G I D Masters. Fucking every album. He's easier to find than the rest of them. So yeah. you can just type his name in. And you'll find his shit. It's Cause he's uh but you gotta check out Country Club. Who else? Who else? Who else are we putting on? Well, those that's it as far as Butte goes, but that's the I mean, boys. Like, that's that's the BB right there. Blicky Boys, uh, and JD Masters, who's just legend, a, a goat. Check out Mike G, the writer, though. Check Fuck out your new diss track. Check out my new diss song against oh. Josh Crespo. What is it? Oh man, I gotta I gotta check what it's called. I name them all crazy shit. That's like uh really long i dare you to interview me coward plus josh is a fucking stupid way to spell that name that's the whole name of the song yeah sir we need to shorten these names because that's really hard to find no <laughs> i'm the, the, you don't you don't understand man no actually I, those first few words will pop up for sure i only need them to be found in the moment once once the moment's over i really don't need people to be checking those no longevity to the music all right well do you know how much, you know, how Crespo? much i got plenty of music it's just these diss songs diss songs are kind of disposable i don't need them to be the they're not my main thing you know i got real albums true you can rap. All right, bro. I appreciate it. Yeah. This was good. I, I think everybody's going to enjoy this for sure. $2 Will, y'all. He's got three yeah, disc tracks it. against me. He's got a bunch of albums, Christmas albums. He's the man. I mean, that's go so check him out. Man. He was Take willing him. to get on this and talk to me after making disc songs. He didn't mind. Of course, you know, we're all going to get a little bit more engagement from this. I'm sorry. It just is what it is. But I appreciate it, man. I appreciate the time. Um, I think it was cool. I think we had a good conversation. Oh, yeah. Oh, this was this was legendary, Crespo. We'll be talking. We'll keep building. Them. Maybe we'll make some music. We'll see what happens. I've just been working on my next two albums, so that's why I haven't collaborated too much. But yeah. Oh man, we'll do some shit. Just wait. Just wait till you see what I got cooking. It's gotta be. It's gotta be PG thirteen, bro. I was gonna say PG, but I'll give you PG thirteen. That's all I'll say from for, for our stuff. I've never done <laughs> PG thirteen. Maybe. Yeah. We'll try. We'll see what we can make. But anyways, nice to meet you, bro. I appreciate it. Bro, I appreciate it. Get this to everyone. Make sure everyone sees this. Before February 28th. Yep. Enjoy the music February 28th. All right. Butte. Watch Blicky Boys TV on YouTube. Peace, Crespo. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm going to have to cut the ad. My bad.